from from the previous lesson, natutunan natin na ang graph ng quadratic function, just like this one, ay parabola that either opens upward or downward. So, video nito, i-graph natin yung parabola. In this case, it's y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. I-fill in natin itong mga information na to. Una, kailangan matransform natin siya into this form. This one, this, called, uh, this is called the vertex form. y equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. We're going to determine the domain, the range, the opening of the parabola, the vertex, the axis of symmetry, x and y intercepts. And then, on this side, we're going to graph the... So, let's start. Unahin muna natin, y equals x squared plus 6, 6x plus 5. Let's write that into vertex form, x squared plus 6x plus 5. So we're going to write this in vertex form using completing the squares. So pa sa pag-complete ng squares, um, pagsamahin natin yung x squared saka 6x, tapos ilayo natin ng konti yung 5. So it will become y equals x squared plus 6x, and then lagyan natin yung 5. Okay. Tingnan nyo muna kung may kasama ba yung x squared. So in this case, wala siyang kasama, so wala natin i-factor out. And then the next thing you need to do is to divide, the next thing you need to do is to divide 6 by 2. That will give you 3 and then square it. That will give you 9. So we'll add 9 here. That will give you 9. So nag-add tayo ng 9. Siyempre hindi mo pwedeng basa-basa ka na mag-add ng 9, no? So nag-add ka ng 9. So mag-minus ka ng 9 dito sa kabilang side para parang 0 lang yung dinagdag mo. And then, this one is already a perfect square trinomial. So we can factor that as x plus 3 times x plus 3 or x plus 3 squared. And in this case, we have minus a uh, vertex form is y equals x plus 3 squared minus 4. So this is our vertex form, x plus 3 squared minus 4. So let's write it here, y equals x plus 3 squared minus 4. Let's compare. What's the value of h of a, h, and k? So in this case, a is equal to 1. Lagay lang natin dito. a is equal to positive 1. Your h is equal to, this is minus h, no? Ito, plus 3. So, ganun siya, x minus h. So, ano yung value ng h? Okay, very good. It's minus 3. Okay? Kasi pwede mo tong isulat as x minus minus 3 squared. So, pag kinompare mo to dito, yung value mo ng h ay negative 3. Okay, next, your k is 4. Now, your vertex, unahin natin yung vertex, ha? Your vertex is, the formula is h, k. Ito, so natin. Your formula is h. So therefore, the vertex is at, your h is negative 3, and your k is negative 4. So vertex is at negative 3, negative 4. Now, how about the opening of the parabola? Since the value of a, so ang titignan nyo lang dyan yung value ng a. Yung a, since it's positive, so your parabola opens upward. Bakit nga? Since a is greater than 0. So your parabola opens upward. If your a is negative, then your parabola opens downward. Now, how about the domain? Yung domain at saka range, mamaya natin if you fill in pag nag-graph tayo. The axis of symmetry formula is x equals h. x equals h. So, let's go lang dyan, eh? And then, so therefore, since our h is negative 3, so your the, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. And then, let's now go to x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Mas madaling kunin mo na yung y-intercept. To get the y-intercept, you have to set x equals 0. So to get the y-intercept, we're going to set x equals 0 or substitute x equals 0. Gamitin natin yung uh, original equation. So magiging y equals, so pag nag-0 na yon yung x mo, so it will become 0 squared, 0 lang yon plus 0 times 6, so 6 times 0, so 0 then plus 5. Y-intercept is equal to 5. Your x-intercept, kabalik na rin ng y-intercept, you're going to set, you're going to set y equals 0. Um, mukhang, okay lang na gamitin nyo yung ano, okay lang na gamitin nyo yung first equation, kasi pag ginamit mo yung first equation, or yung equation in ax squared plus bx plus c form, so is 0 mo yung y doon, 0 equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. And then you can solve for the value of x using any of the method na natutunan natin nung mga first few weeks. First, it's either using quadratic formula or factoring or completing the squares. In this case, feeling ko pwede siyang gamitin, in this case, pwede mo siyang i-factor. And um, x plus 5 times x plus 1. And um, by the zero product property, we know that x plus 5 is equal to 0 or or x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then on this side, we have x equals negative 5. And on this side, we have x equals 
negative 1. So we have two values for the x-intercept, minus 1 and minus 5. Okay. So we're now ready to graph our parabola. I-plot muna natin yung ating vertex. Our vertex is at negative 3, 4. Negative 3, 4. Negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 3. So we have negative 3 here and then negative 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So here is our vertex. And then, our x and y intercepts. Dumutay sa x intercept, we have negative 5. Negative 3 to, no? Negative 4, negative 5. So we have negative 5 here. And then we have negative 1. Somewhere here, negative 1. Okay, and then our y intercept, which is 5. So y intercept, nasa y axis yon. 1, 2, 3, 4, ito. Nandito, 5. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to plot the axis of symmetry. X equals H. Um, or X equals negative 3. So, ito yon. Yung axis of symmetry mo should pass through the vertex. It divides your parabola into two equal parts. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano makikita mo dito sa side na to, sa left side, yun din dapat makita mo sa right side. So, parang finold mo yung graph mo ng parabola. So, siya yung naghahate. Parang mirror image yung kabila. Okay, let's plot the graph. Ah, since speaking of mirror image, ibig sabihin, itong point na to, this one, this point over here, pwede mo siyang i-hanapan yung ka-mirror image niya dito. Nandito sa part na to. So, pwede mo ding i-plot yun. So, ibig sabihin, may point ako dito. Okay? And then, we're now ready to Graph the parabola, smooth curve. Smooth curve. Okay, and then it will go up. Okay, so lagyan nyo na lang arrow sa pinakadulo. Uh, ibig sabihin nun, it goes up without bound. Okay. So now, as you can see, lahat ng x natin tatamaan. Kasi palawak ng palawak yan eh. Palawak ng palawak yan on both sides. Okay, so ang... Domain natin ay all reals. Yung range natin, hindi lahat ng y tinamaan. As you can see, wala tayong value sa baba ng negative 4 dito. Wala na tayong value dito. So, lahat lang ng pataas. So, pataas lang. So, it's from negative 4 upward. So, that's our range. How do we write that? Pwedeng, pwedeng um, range ay set of all y such that y is greater than or equal to 4. Negative 4 pala. Okay. Or, pwede din namang uh, by set builder notation, ah, sorry, pwede namang by interval notation, so the value will be, uh, sorry, the range will be from negative 4, including negative 4, up to positive infinity. And there you go.